among us spend huge sum repairing our cars. In fact, we are not afraid of the raining season. Those were the words of Mr. Tunde Olushegun, the CDC secretary for Shefeloku government area of Lagos State. Barely one year after the Lagos State government constructed 114 roads across the 57 councils in the states and handed over to the Community Development Associations and Community Development Committee, and as the plan to construct an additional 181 roads by the Lagos State government is in top gear. Lagos Community Update visited Koshofa local government area to see how much value has been added to the roads by the benefiting communities. Okeowo Shomori and Olorun Femi Streets are domiciled in Owore Shoki and Ifako area of Koshofa local government. For an onlooker, the presence of private organizations in this community would mean provision of adequate public utilities for the people. But this was not the case. Community members painted the hardship residents had to endure before intervention of the Ambadis administration. Uh, before the two roads were constructed, the roads were very, very bad. It was unmotorable. Vehicles could no longer pass through that road anymore. Even pedestrians, they have to go find their way through other adjoining streets before they get to their destination. But when the two roads were done, were completed, I think we have a big of relief. One is a uh, Olorun Fumi Street, Ikoshofelu in Oroshoki, and the second one is a uh, Okewo Shomori in uh, Fako, uh, Araromi side of uh, Koshofelu local government. It was very, very bad, not motorable at all. Portals everywhere. Even pedestrians don't even like passing through here. Uh, the experience is a very sorrowful one because you know. Uh, Transporting of goods inside the communities is difficult. But as soon as the governors have uh, get us better roads, they have been using it to transfer the property, uh, loads, lorries are passing, they are carrying their uh, wires in a suitable manner. To everyone in these communities, it was a dream come true and a project so close to their heart. So as part of efforts to help the government and at the same time performing their civic responsibilities, the ballet and other stakeholders in the community took it upon themselves to ensure compliance on the proper usage of the road projects on a regular basis. I as a city executive have write three letters and I've give each house a letter that the walkway is for people to walk, not for to displace any market or anything on it. There are lots of double parking of vehicle. We have told them, we have called them that we didn't want any bottle that is not motorable to park in that to park in the street. The ballet, the obas, the community leaders, the CDAs have on many occasions had meetings with these people that walkway is meant for pedestrians, not for any other thing. It is not proper for them to display their wares. They are goods on walkway. The psychological effect of it is accident, and we don't want accident to happen. So we have to go back to the drawing board. We need to sit down and meet these people again to drive them away, let them use their shops. We've appealed to the users, those shops by the, by the roadside there, to clean their environment very well, but some, we have some stubborn ones. Maybe we, we will still come back to the government, so if we come and enforce the uh, environmental laws very well here because most of them will not even listen to us because they don't have force to enforce uh, the, the law. They said that the rehabilitation of the roads has changed the landscape of the communities. Tremendously well it has affected the economic aspect of the of the locality because uh, shops springs up so well. people could move easily to bring in their wares and uh, even go out to, uh, to their various uh, locations. Immediately the completion of that street, of those streets in uh, September 24, 2016, the economic activities in these two areas became buoyant. You can even see that people are really going about their normal businesses. Businesses are booming. Even houses, shops, everything came up with the benefit of these two roads. And we thank the, the, the Ex Excellency for at least giving us, giving us 
uh, part of a uh, democracy in Kosovo local government. Members of these communities appreciated the Lagos State Government for extending benefit of democracy to the inner communities. They said they would not relent in the effort of ensuring proper usage of the facilities. This road along for me is uh, an access road to the whole community. It leads to most of the areas in this area. So we, we are so happy that it was done by the Honorable Governor. All our leaders, including our fathers that we have here in the world, we all appreciate the effort of our governor and we are praying for more. I will pray for more elbows on his uh, shoulder because he has been doing a wonderful job all over the states. We are seeing it. I will give thanks to our Honorable Governor, Akumi Ambodi, for what he has done to us in this area and for him that I make this along for me street to be more tolerable today. Then people are running their business in good way. Uh, we say more grease to his elbow and we still need more in the community.